Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to disable shutdown options from the login screen and also from the control alt delete menu. So we did a video previously on how to disable shutdown options from the, you know, the start button here where you could uh, disable some or all of these or get rid of the start button completely. So I'll put a link in the description for that if you want to check that out. So the problem is, you know, some, even if you get rid of that, if you do control alt delete or go to the log off menu or login menu, I should say. So let's log this guy out here. You still have your power options here. So let me log them back in. And also when you do control alt delete, you have your options here as well. So to make these changes, we're gonna do a couple of registry edits. Um, you could do this from the group policy editor for Windows Pro if you have that. So you might wanna look that up and, but if you just want to do a quick uh, registry edit for Windows Home or even for Windows Pro, you could do this. And I'll put this in the description so you could just copy and paste it. So we're going to do the login screen first. So we'll just copy this path here, go to RegEdit, and paste it in the address bar so you don't have to type it. Press Enter. Okay. So now we have to locate uh, this value here, shut down without login, and set its value to zero. That's this guy here, should be one by default. So we'll set that to zero, say okay. So a lot of these changes, you could restart uh, Windows Explorer and have it be updated, but this doesn't seem to work. You have to reset the computer or restart the computer. So let me do that and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and you can see our power button is gone there. So let's log in. But we still have our power options here. And then also from the uh, control alt delete menu. All right, so to get around that, we're gonna uh, do this other one here. So let's copy this path here, go back to reg edit. Paste that in there. Okay, so now we need to create a D word 32 bit value name, no close if you don't have one. So right click new D word 32 bit value. Paste that in there and set its value to one, like so. Now this one, we should be able to restart Windows Explorer. So right click on your taskbar, task manager. You could restart the computer too. Uh, find Windows Explorer, which is usually at the bottom. Right click it, restart. You'll see your icons disappear and come back. Okay, so now let's do the control alt delete again. So now you see you have the power button still when you click on it, there are currently no power options available. And also when you click here, same thing. So obviously keep in mind when you do this, you're not gonna have a way to shut down your computer unless maybe you could do it remotely. Let's see what Alt F4 does. You can't do that either. Let's see what you get from command. All right, shut down. Forward slash S for shut down. Time, 10 seconds. Let's see what happens here. Like so. So you can see they could still do it from the command line. So obviously your users would have to know how to do so. So and that's that's good because that's one way that you could uh, shut down and restart as well. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to do it either unless you did it remotely. Okay, so I will put this uh, stuff in the description from the uh, text file and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>